got our new rooftop carrier on top of our car, so look how much more space we have in here now. I can actually see out of the back a little bit as we're driving. It's so roomy, isn't it, Leslie? It's very roomy. Are you it's happy? Nice. Yes, I'm very happy. The, the car top carrier was rattling at first, but I fixed it. Leslie said that's good husband material. Sure is. Where are we going today, Leslie? We are going to Yellowstone National Park. Yellowstone's about three hours from Graybull. We might make one quick stop before we get there. There's supposed to be a cool little dinosaur track site on the way out. So maybe make a quick stop there. Leslie, any other comments about today? Uh, it's gonna be a good time. <laughs> track site located? In the middle of nowhere, just like everywhere else we've been so far. We're currently traveling down a five mile dirt road to arrive at the dinosaur track site and hope we see some cool dinosaur tracks. Are you scared? Yes. Stop. What's wrong? We heard a rattle. Are you okay? <laughs> no, I'm trying to leave. Wait, I don't know what I learned. You don't know what you learned? Did you learn anything? What did you learn at the dinosaur track site, Leslie? I learned that dinosaur track sites are hot. hot blah, 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 blah. Just say it again. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. I learned that dinosaur track sites are hard to spot. Yeah? Yeah. I learned that apparently scientists used to think that Wyoming was completely covered by water at the time of the dinosaurs. They had a more specific time on the things, but I don't remember which, which time period that was. Then they discovered these tracks here at this track site and realized that Wyoming was not always completely covered by water because there are tracks and that means that there were dinosaurs here and they weren't underwater. We also had to drive way, way out in the middle of nowhere down this dirt road to find the dinosaur track site. But it was, it was, Leslie, do you think it was worth the stop? Definitely worth the stop. Even though there were rattlesnakes? Maybe not. <laughs> Did you learn anything about rattlesnakes? I learned that if you see one or hear one, you freeze and you locate the source of the sound and you back away slowly. What were you going to do if you actually saw one? Scream. Did you see one? No, but we heard one. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. It did. It sounded like we, I think we did hear one, but he was pretty far off. So we were all right. Next stop, Yellowstone. Yellowstone, we have our park pass to get in. Today we're planning to see the geyser basins and we're also planning to see the prismic spring. The grand prismatic spring. We're planning to see the grand prismatic spring. So we got our packet for Yellowstone. What do we have in there, Leslie? Yellowstone is a dangerous place. How do you feel? Bison, bears, and elk have killed people, but at least it's a pretty place. How do you feel about that paper they gave us? <laughs> Not great, but we'll be fine. We're gonna get some bear spray. So we've been here how long? About 20 minutes. And we've seen what? Bear, an elk, and a bison.
exotic spring. We're gonna go take a look. Leslie, are you excited? Very excited. What's it? What's it called? Grand Prismatic Spring.